I want to set the scene for you. The problem started a couple of weeks before Christmas when you expect to receive more cards and letters in the mail and, of course, bills. But imagine how you'd feel if some of your mail was ripped open. That was a disturbing reality for Al Kleinbrile. The Metro Detroit resident asked us not to reveal where he lives because of this mail ordeal. I didn't think much of it at first. I'm like, well, all right, open envelopes. But the problem just kept continuing and continuing. He said the problem lasted about six weeks. His locked mailbox was among a bank of mailboxes, and he said a few of his neighbors complained about the same problem. How were they getting into your mail? When we received them, they were open on this end right here. Sometimes they were sliced with a knife. We had a few of the vanilla envelopes that a bill would come in that they have the fold over where it's glued on this side and a knife was stuck underneath to rip the fold and they unfolded it and got into it that way. A few of the envelopes we had where they were just actually ripped like that. He called his local post office twice and the Detroit post office twice. And they said, there is nothing we can do for you. What prompted you to contact the call for action team? Well, I always watch Channel 7, and you folks always seem to get to the bottom of things. So it was kind of a no-brainer. Good morning. Call for action. The call for action team started communicating with the Postal Service, and the problem eventually stopped. He's relieved. Yes, I am. Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Huh.